right. A new Let's Play on the Nintendo DS. If you've ever seen this game before, you might like it or you might not. Actually, all right, yeah, you can see my mouse on the screen for a second. Because, oh, no, I'm sorry. Config view window screen separation. It's just a, just a narrow border. Okay. That'll make make a little more sense. Um, obviously, it's not going to be perfectly timed out with the music and everything, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. Um, it'll lag sometimes. Sometimes it won't lag. Um, oh, I have to move this down a little bit. I forgot the controls. Oh, that's awkward. Um, let's see. Okay, so arrow keys. Z seems to be the equivalent of B. We'll be Robbie. The chances of this working out in the end are very slim. I apologize. And also, since it's a little laggy, there'll be a lot of times where... There's a white bar across the screen by itself, and that's just the separation between the top and the bottom screen on the DS. I can get rid of that, but I don't know. I kind of like it there. Um, so, yeah, you can read the storyline if you really want to. It's not that hard to pause it, and hopefully this has good enough quality for you to read it. <laughs> I kind of like the music sped up. All right, Belle, let's go. Okay. So, I am the blue slime that you see generally centered in the screen, but for now, you know, there's cutscenes and stuff. And, uh, that little guy with the red bow thing is Huli. It's a scarf, I guess. And, uh, he has a warrior flute for me, which will eventually be very useful, but for now, it's just like, um... It's just a little treasure that the kids have to be rebels. And, uh, they're gonna play a little game, and whoever, whoever wins gets to play the flute. Which is basically little game is for me to learn what the controls are because I, I don't know. I'm actually going to try turning frame skip all the way off. It's a little slow. Yeah, having frame skip on one is definitely smarter. God, I apologize. Alright, so X is jump. Holding X and then pressing over is my attack and I can pick things up with this and pressing Z throws it okay it'll take a little while for me to get accustomed to it but I think it's good and enter is the start button of course stretch and shoot sweepstakes and Huli's record is 60 seconds so I just have to clear all these leaves that you can clearly see in the middle of this ground in less than a minute which is going to be difficult but I okay there goes 10 seconds of my let's play. Yes! Owned. Some of the sounds will probably be a bit off too, because I mean, it's an emulator and ROM. In the end, the point is just that this game is really funny. And enjoyable. Huh, no one likes to be a loser, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Never say I don't keep promises, Robbie. Here, the warrior flute's yours. Yeah, the flute's a little glitchy. <laughs> Question marks and then in all caps. Hmm, that sounded like the warrior flute, but who would dad attitude upon it so? Oh, crumbs, I think it was your dad, Robbie. Yes, yeah, so my dad's a pretty big guy. And, uh, they want to hide the flute. Yeah, so they hide it inside of me. Hence, slime mechanics. And if you ever played any of the other Dragon Quest games, <laughs> you'll notice slimes are like the stupid, weakest enemies ever. But... It's fun to be one, I'm not going to lie, this game's a lot of fun. And so Big Daddy, who's my father, only talks in all capital letters. <laughs> He's one of those internet nerd rage people, I guess. And obviously, my father can't even recognize me when I'm stretched out like a baseball bat. I could read everything they say, but there's kind of a lot of dialogue in the intro scene. And I complain every time I move anywhere now. Yeah. 
I cannot manage an elastoblast. You're correct. Elastoblast is when I stretch out and then fire myself like I did to the leaves. Oh no. And cue awesome enemy music. That'll be... Have its tempo changed every couple of seconds. Oh, all the platypunk lag. Oh, the plob. That's what the enemy's called. And they want the warrior flute. Well, um... I guess that's a good thing we hit it inside of the protagonist. And so... Now they all jump on Big Daddy. Poor Big Daddy. Not. Yeah, his armor's gone, though, so he's just angry. God, he looks so funny. So the earthquakes are coming from... The ground. Surprising. No, no, not the ground. A giant tank. The size larger than Slimania, actually. And it's shooting giant blocks that have numbers on them at us. Giant spike balls that have numbers. And so now he comes, he becomes a hostage to try and save Slimania. Or at least, you know, try to help everyone. And so now this platypunk is carrying Huli, obviously. And that one's like, oh, yes, yes, you must kidnap all of these things. And then I come by. And then this is some guy beatboxing. I like the music in this game a lot. It's just kind of comical. And then, obviously, the platypunk's not... The upper platypunk's not an idiot. He's like, oh, this is a slime. But then Carlo the Claw, who's checking all of them, is just like... Oh, this isn't a slime. It's a worm. Stupid. And he throws me all the way to a level that I must be at least a mile away. Yeah, I was thrown all the way to Forward Forest a few miles from Boyenberg. If Platypunk are that strong, why are they s the worst enemies in the game? I don't even know. So, well, yeah, there ends the intro. And now I get to control myself a little bit. You'll hear that sound a lot, and unfortunately, it's a little glitchy. So, the warrior flute is broken. And that chest right there, with the question marks that are talking to me. Okay, okay, I get it. You don't need to tell me. I do a last blast it, and a slime comes out. In this case, it's Swatsy, who's one of my best friends. Now, while this might seem like it would hurt, apparently they appreciate it a lot when I pick them up. Yeah, 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 okay. I know what to do. So basically, I just have to get him back home. And the easiest way to do that from here is to just throw him. Now, that's... I don't think I ever do that again to any slime at all in, throughout the rest of the game. Let me move this over one. It's a little better. And I got a letter from Swatsy. Nope. Okay, L and R, Q and W. That's weird. Swag. Alright, letters. What's that? I got one. Oh, I have to wait for the envelope to settle down. My bad. Okay. And now he's happy and he gives me a pom pom that does one damage in tank battles. I mean. What? No, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Tank battles. I'm foreshadowing! Oh my. So the plob has some more... <laughs> Wise guy and babo. They have some more slimes and chests. I love the beatbox. I, I just love the song so much. This game's just got such a cartoon, like, immature feel to it. It's so funny. I really enjoyed playing this game. I think I played it, like, two or three years ago. It was just a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it does move me the DS emulator. It's generally very laggy and very inconsistent with, like, its speed. Cutscenes can go kind of well, 
Some gameplay works, some doesn't. And now we got a uh, Stony. Thanks, Squishy. Huh, you think you can carry me back to town? Okay, this is how I'm going to be transporting things. What you want to do is grab the slime, or an item, or an enemy, and throw them on the cart. And it'll bring them back home. You can also return home by going this way. Same with the way I threw Swatsy. I can just walk that way and I'll say, would you like to return to Boing Burger or whatever? And you just say yes. So I have mail from Stony. I don't care about what you say. You got me a pom pom. Uh oh. There's, there's no slime up there. If I leave right now, I can't even save, actually. Forgot to mention that. The person that lets me save is one of the slimes, and they've been captured, so I have to make sure I grab them. There, now I'm returning a chest. I want to go pretty close to 100% completion. Um, you can capture enemies in this. Like, if I went up to a Platypunk and I threw it on a cart, I can, it wouldn't be able to get off the cart unless, like, something else knocked it off. You can knock things off cart by blast blasting them. And, um... You can capture the enemies. I'm not going to go for a platinum trophy for every enemy, which is catching 100. But I'd like to catch every enemy in every area that's possible. Things like that. Get every all 100 slimes. Maybe even grab every, like, alchemy recipe. All these foreshadowing things that don't really matter yet. Oh, pom-pom. I don't have enough. Come on, there you go. That's a little leaf that'll heal my health if I'm missing any. And... Who's in here? Okay, good. That That's the one. Mother Gloopier... Gloopierier. That's her name. And basically, she'll let us return home. And the plop comes here every day. So now, we're just riding on this together. Uh, she's the one that lets me save. She resides in the church in town. And I can explain a little bit more soon. Yes, 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 I know what you say. It, it, oh, the levels go through uh, day cycles and night cycles, things like that. Um, the top screen shows it when you're actually in the level. So I saved three slimes, which means that there's three in town, because I don't count for whatever reason. And those are the items I gathered. After arriving home exhausted from your hard day's slurp, you goo straight to bed. <laughs> God. Oh, goo. Slime. Get it. Yeah, unfortunately, some of it sounds really staticky. It's so sad to be in this house without Bo. And up there, past that... Oh, thanks. Okay, I get it. Three slimes are required to move this ball. Blah, blah, blah. Slime tons. That's what the ST on it stands for. If you can even see that, I don't know. Dell Webcam Central is not that great at resolution. And so, yeah, that's the slimes... If you have 10, you can move something that has, requires 10 on the actual ball. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. I have three, so now I can access the church. <laughs> I don't care for the dialogue, unfortunately. Oh, you're awake, Robbie. A jolly good morning to you. This is all the blobs doing. They've reduced Boingberg to a pile of rubble. If I ever get my hands on them, I'll come down on them like a ton of bricks. Cool. They slime up to everyone. Dear God, protect your helpless lambs in their darkest hour. Ah, uh, yeah, so she's the voice of religion in this game. All Dragon Quest games, I'm pretty sure, use, like, churches and stuff to, uh, heal yourself from things such as, like, poison, but also to save, which I will be doing soon, except secret of secret. Where is it? Behind the tree, there's a seed of life, which means my heart's in the bottom left corner increased by one. It's, uh, pretty useful. And so... Now that I'm in the church, I'll just uh, end this off here and see how it looks in editing and maybe continue the series. Because, you know, it's a fun game. It really is. See you next time.